in ORCA, we have identified two different kinds of swimmers. First, we have the natural swimmer who actually would swim without a wetsuit every, th every time he can. Then we have the sinker, or that swimmer who actually needs help to improve his swimming technique. To address those two different athletes, we have developed three different kinds of wetsuits. We have those wetsuits addressing total flexibility. We have a second kind addressing total buoyancy. And we have a third kind who's actually mixing both technologies into the same wetsuit. Then we'll see you'll have two different price levels for that. In the first price point, we have total flexibility addressed by the alpha wetsuit. The alpha wetsuit incorporates 0.88 technology, which is the most flexible material ever used on a wetsuit. For total buoyancy, we have the 3.8, which is a total buoyancy wetsuit. You know, you've known it for long, and it's basically giving you a very streamlined position. The wetsuit combining both technologies is the Predator wetsuit. Predator is using both 0.88 technology, so very, very stretchable, and at the same time, incorporates the exolith material which is giving extra buoyancy to your core and legs. At the second price point, we have three different wetsuits as well. Addressing flexibility, we have the Equip wetsuit, which is using 39 cell at 1.5 millimeter in the arms. Addressing buoyancy, we have the S6, which has much thicker neoprene on the legs to help sinkers bring their legs up. And combining those two features, we have the sonar, which is a very good combination, giving a very balanced wetsuit. We hope this matrix is going to help you understand and sell the wetsuits better. Now you see there's one reason behind every wetsuit. So, flexibility, buoyancy, total solution at two different price levels. We think it's worth it to talk about the three new technologies we're using this year. First, we're going to talk about the 0.88 free. I'm going to explain very briefly how we make neoprene for the construction of wetsuits. Basically, what you do is taking a thick couch of neoprene and slicing it down to the thickness you request. There is a technical limitation though, which is the 1.5 millimeter thickness. When you try to slice it thinner than that, the neoprene just wrinkles and breaks inside the machine. We realized if we wanted to go beyond what was in the market already, we needed to think out of the box. What did we do? We took a thicker material and we compressed it down to 0.5 millimeters thick only. We call it 0.88, that is the addition of the lining that goes against your skin, the titanium coating that is preventing the cold getting to your body, the neoprene material, which is 0.5 millimeters thick, and the SCA's coating at the end that is giving it very high hydrodynamic properties. The result of these developments is a material three times more flexible than any other neoprene used before. We've tested that under laboratory conditions by cutting the same shape of material on the two materials and using the same weight on both. And we see how 0.88 stretches up to three times longer than the 44 cell neoprene from Yamamoto. The result for the athlete is increased flexibility on their stroke, which means less fatigue that we have tested by measuring the lactic acid on the bloodstream, and an increased frequency on their stroke, which allows faster swimming and higher performance. The second technology we're gonna talk about today 
is the exolif material. To fully understand exolif, please take a predator wetsuit and look at the inside on the core part. You will see it looks as if it were outside neoprene, both on the outside and in the inside. What we've done in Exolift is remove the traditional lining you have on the inside of wetsuits by gluing neoprene one against the other. The target with that was reducing the water absorption of neoprene materials. We've been testing that in the laboratory by measuring vertical push. And we've seen that traditional neoprene absorbs around 7% water after 30 minutes immersion. The result with exolif material, 0% water absorption, which means you will notice no difference between the beginning and the last part of your swim. The third technology we're going to be talking about is the core lateral stabilizer. By developing it, we were looking at the not so good swimmers and observing how many times they sneak in the water or over stride so that their body goes from side to side. We started thinking about how to reduce that effect and we thought about placing two panels on the sides of a stiff material that would help them keep a very streamlined position in the water. Feedback we are getting from the athletes is that they have the feeling of swimming on a surfboard. This is really helping them to keep that streamlined position in the water. We've been working very hard to give Orca a leverage with these three breakthrough technologies. We hope you realize they are different to anything else on the market. And we really think we have an edge to make all wetsuits the best ever. Two features that should help you sell the wetsuits are the bevel color and the reverse velcro. We designed the bevel color when looking at triathletes feeling constrained by the color of the wetsuits, we thought we could make actually a decreased thickness of the neoprene that would give a degraded pressure on the neck. The result is that it seals perfectly, but it doesn't give you that line of pressure anymore. For the reverse Velcro, it looks like, like a very simple feature, but it's actually very difficult in production. We thought it was worth it anyway, because now you have the rough part of, of the Velcro on the inside, which avoids the risk of having it rubbing against your skin.